So if you're first learning how to do acrylic nails like Katie is, you'll want to decide which monomer you'd like to use, a slower setting or a faster setting. Let's find out what Katie chooses. In the world of acrylic nails, which you've never done before, right? No, I've worn them, but I've never played with the product. This is Katie, my student, and I'm yes. Susie. I've been doing nails for 35 years in teaching. And I've got Katie to show her how to do acrylic nails, which I'm really excited about. Many might not know, and you don't know at all, but there no. are choices between a faster setting monomer and a slower setting monomer. And that's the liquid. Yes. That's the liquid. That's right. Okay. In my opinion, a slower setting is better because it helps you learn. Acrylic's hard to do. So if you dive in with the fast set or the regular set, which everybody uses, it can make it really tough. So before I show you how to make beads, you're going to try to decide which one you'd like to go forth with and learn on. All right. Okay. Just get your general honest opinion. Okay. Okay. So we have fast set here. Uh, pardon me. This is slow set here. I'm trying not to forget. Uh, I'll know once I do it. But beading is a whole other thing. I won't show you how to bead yet. Okay. until we get into the fingers. Okay. But I'm just going to sh create a bead. I'm sure you've seen people do it. Well, you had yes. your nails done. So I've you've had seen, my nails done, yes. seen them do it. Okay, so what you want to do is completely immerse your brush, this is a brand new brush, in your monomer. Okay. Why do you do that? Because you want to get rid of any air bubbles that are in there. Okay. You want to make sure that you know how much monomer is in there. So you want to just immerse it in there and get your bristles just full of the monomer just nice and happy so it's all in there you can even even if it's dripping so i won't get into too much of making the beads in the right consistency which is the very first thing we want to do i'm just going to show you the beads and then you can decide okay okay now i normally wouldn't do this with a student but you have some hybrid gel experience i do have that yeah so she knows about brush and stuff she just doesn't know about the liquid and powder which we will get to mm -hmm. but we're just going to play with the beads so she can figure it out so i'm going to create a faster setting bead here hold in the powder for about three seconds okay i'm going to place that guy right there clean the brush off for you and you can just play with it a little bit and okay. we're not looking for any shape or anything just just play with it until you feel like it doesn't want to move anymore okay it's different it's very different does than it feel gel. different yeah it's quite different than right. the gel hybrid gel right yes the yep. hybrid gel hmm it's already starting to get yeah stiffer. you feel that yeah when acrylic powder and monomer are combined they start to polymerize together and they start to harden. Now, do you feel like you can keep moving or do you feel like it's kind of going, hold up? It's kind of going like, put me in position so that I can, I can cure. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You, you can't really move it anymore? No, not really. That's, okay. it's stuck. It's, that's it's, it. Okay. So it just says to you, I'm done. Yeah. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. And that's great if you are really got a lot of experience because you want it to be done. You want it to be hardened for you. Yeah, but I already know that's, I'm not that fast. Yeah. I'm uh, not that fast. Why would you be? You've never no. done it before. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to give you a slower setting bead, mm -hmm. the odorless, and just, then you can see what you want. I'm just going to clean it out of the brush. Just get it saturated in there with the monomer. Drain quite a bit off your brush. And you just hold it. I'm fascinated. Yeah, I hold for about six seconds. Okay. And then I'll place that guy there. Clean me brush. Go for it. Awesome. And this is odorless monomer. Yeah. This one. Oh, interesting. Oh, let it sit for a minute. I, oh, I almost right. forgot. Let it sit for a <laughs> let minute. Let it sit for about five or six seconds. And it's just absorbing into itself, which is great. Because as a person learning, you can then take your brush clean and you can clean it. it and get all that crap off there and that might in interfere with your shaping. Yes. And then you can go in and start playing with it. Now it's ready. What I do notice is that it doesn't quite bleed. Like the gel stuff will sort of bleed and sort of self-level and this right. is not. Yeah. No, it, it does not do that. No. Yeah, that's very different. Yeah. Which is fascinating. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's already like you're feeling like you have a lot more playtime. So much. It's more not time. resistant. No, like the faster setting. And don't get me wrong, I love the faster setting monomers. Well, when you've got them. the experience behind sure. you to move that fast, absolutely. I'm only talking about when that learning curve. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've trained so many people, and the number one thing they'll keep coming back is, "Oh, it's curing so fast." So fast. 
and you want to slow it down so you can really engulf the techniques that you're trying to learn and get to know this new product and how you can work with it. Because right now we're just putting it on this thing. There's no parameters. There's no, there's no cuticle. Yeah, there's no sidewalls. Curves or anything of nothing. the nail. This is, wow, this yeah. is a lot of playtime. Yeah. Okay. And that's what the advantage is. You can really slow that thing down so you can really learn how you want to manipulate it and shape yeah. it. It'll make your learning curve so much faster. If I had this stuff, I probably could have shaved literally a year off of my learning. I bet. Yeah. I really think because so. Because unfortunately, it would harden before you get a chance to figure it out. So this would have given me so much more advantage. Yeah. So it wouldn't harden before. And then I could figure it out. Then I get it because it's into the spot where I want it. I, I get it. Then you can speed things up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, okay. I've, I think I You're I think still I moving know. it, aren't you? I'm still moving it. Okay, keep going until, I'm curious how long it, actually in seconds, we're, we're going to do a little counter here so we can see how long it's actually but taking ton, before you. But there's tons of time. Look at that. Like you can still quite manipulate yeah. a lot of it, which is interesting. And I'm fascinated because it's not self-leveling, so I'm like, okay, that makes it Right. Yeah. Yes, because you tell acrylic where to go. Yes. Yeah. You are the boss of acrylic. But if it's curing on you, you're losing the battle. <laughs> so if you have a slower setting one, you can actually be the boss of it. Yes. And that is really the whole I'm point. Excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait to show yeah. you on the fingers over there. Interesting. All of these things. They must be done by chemists. I never took chemistry and took that. Oh goodness. No, I was I was good at recess. <laughs> <laughs> Not math. Don't ask me to math. Art. I was good at art. <laughs> cool. You're still going. I'm still going. Oh, I There's... can't wait to see what that counter is. Yeah. I think that that is maybe we're working on two minutes, maybe more now. Yeah. Yeah. The um oh I can't get my words out. Yes, I do. The that odorless. All the time. Much slower drying. Slows time. your time right down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm that's awesome. why I wanted to do this experiment to just to see what the student, somebody who's never used it before, genuinely would like to work with. Let them make the decision. You can do whichever one you want. I mean, you may just use the odorless, let's say, for a month or two. Well, that's what I, that was yeah. my thought. I was like, oh, this is interesting. I would use this to get my technique down mm -hmm. until I was confident enough to do it on a girlfriend. Yeah. And then I would yeah. use the, the regular stuff. Yeah. So that's interesting. You're still going still, out there. Still going. It's still going. Well, it's starting. It's okay. It's starting. No, I can't lift yeah. it anymore. Okay, so I don't know what that time is. We definitely starting to see it harden up a little bit. For sure. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get going on some fingers over there. Oh, I'm excited. Not real people, just some fingers.